Hey everybody, it's Johnny Five All Live here, and I am joined with Zelixor. Hey. And welcome to our first Dragon Quest Builders Spotlight. So what we've done here is we've picked out a community creation to go visit, and we're gonna go check it out, run around and see what the, the, the this creator has built. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, welcome back everybody. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you end up enjoying this video, leave a like. Uh, so we do have a Discord for Planet Coaster and I'm, add, I'm gonna be adding this game in. If you guys are playing this, you wanna get creative and share your screenshots or have me come visit your world. We're gonna have a nice little corner in Discord. So check out Discord, uh, links are down in the description below. And uh, with that out of the way, let's get into our creation of the day. This is from Final Fantasy IX. That's all we know. It is created by Negi Toro. There, there seems to be an issue. Let's just jump in the game here um the, the the page the community page and even some of the signs are just showing up as all stars and we think it might be an issue because this game is cross-platform shared so nintendo switch ps4 and pc i feel like maybe just some of the nintendo switch letters are not coming through to pc properly so maybe that's something they hopefully fix all we know is this is from final fantasy 9 so that's obviously a final fantasy airship and a final fantasy castle uh, final fantasy 9 is one of the few final fantasies that i did not play did you ever play that zell no no okay if you guys don't know what dragon quest builders is it's basically like a minecraft game oh my god oh. there's a ship over there <laughs> yeah so basically you get your own isle of awakening and if you join my let's play my series uh you'll learn a little bit more about it but everybody gets their own island and from what we've seen there's also ways to create your own mini islands as well um, but there are three standard areas to build in and uh, there's like the Arctic, the forest, as well as the desert. And you can sign NPCs to live in places and build things for them. We're actually in the spawning location. So this person has decided to build this away from all NPCs. Uh, so nobody can actually live here as far as I'm aware, but they just went ham. But this is what's cool is now I visit your island and this is the first thing I see when I come in. That's pretty cool. So not only can we see what the creation in the thumbnail is today, but we can actually go check out what they've done with the rest of their island. So there's plenty of content to check out here. So why don't we just get started with the uh, airship? Yeah, let's, go. let's fly on over. So it's a very Minecrafty game. You build things block by block. But as you can see, there are assets that you can't normally place in a game like Minecraft, like this little blobby blob, there's clocks, uh, dartboards. Yeah. He's made all this cool stuff, flags. I think the building- Circles. Circles, yes. <laughs> yeah. Not everything is blocky. And I think that's what edges this game out. And I hopefully it picks up in the future because I think this game deserves a little bit more recognition. Yeah. And also like with the NPCs, probably we'll see them later. They, you know, they have AI and they do stuff. Yes. And they, they want rooms and they, you know, the so you have and a the... purpose. Yeah. Yeah. To build stuff for them. Yeah. So everything that you're seeing here was essentially made block by block. If I uh, pull out my little glove here, you can see that I literally can pick all this stuff up. So whoever made this did all of this block by block, piece by piece. Uh, so, it, this, but there are ways to save blueprints like maybe they made this pillar and saved it as a blueprint and placed it down everywhere i'm not sure or they just built it you know Ooh, nothing in here <laughs> <laughs> i mean this is pretty crazy i want to know if we can yeah. get in here is there nothing in there it's just it's just a light room <laughs> so cool and there's so many different pieces in this game. It's crazy. Yeah, it really is. So there's nothing in the hall either. So the the airship's more of a exterior aesthetic thing. I, I would like to see somebody make an airship where the uh, NPCs actually somehow can get in there. Maybe you build them a ladder or something like that. Extend one of those chains. And they actually have a living quarters or something, you know? Yeah, that'd be nice. Before we go to the castle, we saw a... What? Where am I? There's a... Uh, should we go check out the pirate ship? Yeah, let's do it. And you also don't know how... Like, if these people are done building, right? Because... Yeah, at the point of which they uploaded this, them. they could have done more. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. People but, can still be building on this. What I'm really curious to see is what they've done with their oh. actual build buildable NPC area because we haven't okay. really finished the game at the current time of this recording uh, We're I just finished act two Zell's coming yeah. close to finishing act two uh, There's mm -hmm. three acts in the game as far as we're aware 
Um, so, yeah, we're basically haven't even scratched the surface of what is possible in this game. Can you build up the, uh, for a, show the buildpedia and the items? Oh, not in... Oh, I can't do it here. Okay, not in well, their game. It says like a, a percentage of how much you have unlocked. <laughs> yeah, and I think Wait, I'm at like 20% like... or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I could build a lot of stuff. Like, uh, like mind-boggling amounts of stuff. Uh, actually, but you also need to unlock it, right? I mean, yeah. some things you just have to figure out, and you're like, oh, okay, so I can make this, right? Yeah. So it's not all just... Oh, you unlock this now. Sometimes you have to try new things. Yeah, and there's like you can make weapon racks. You know, there's just so many little things that mm. you would see. Basically, like if you were to make like an RPG maker, um, what do you need? You know, you need weapon racks. You need barrels. Like basically everything you could find in an RPG, in a fantasy role-playing game. Uh, mm. This game has it for you to build with. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, it's not, like, really the only thing that's blocky in this game are the basic building blocks, like wood, you know? Like this. Oh. That's... Everything else is, like, just straight out of, like, a... Uh, like an RPG maker, you know? Oh. It's, it's pretty nuts. Oh, look at they were pouring lava and stuff over there. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah, we have this bucket, bottomless pot. You can fill it up with anything, and then you can go ahead and pour. So you can actually go steal lava and fill up areas. <laughs> like a waterfall off the side of the ship. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, we have a big castle to explore. What is that over yeah, there? Maybe also mentioned everything resets when you leave. So it's not, like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm we're basically just destroying someone's creation. <laughs> yeah, the, the, what we downloaded is essentially just a duplicate replica of what they've done. We download yeah. it. Well, we can mess around with it as much as we want. Uh, and when we leave, it all gets reset. There's a car there. Yeah, there's a car. So there are vehicles in this game. As you can see, I got a glider. Uh, there's there's different... Mine tracks. Mine tracks, yeah. Vehicles like this and jumps. It helps you get around your island nice and quickly. So this is usually where the warping is. It looks like you can pick that up and yeah. move it, eh? Yeah. And say, I want people to warp in over here. How do I get off? There we go. Yeah, so there's a small little village outside of this castle, which is interesting. But again, this is... What the heck? I just picked up a window. <laughs> um, you, can, oh, you, can, you can switch uh, views as well. I'm yeah, assuming so. all of this is part of Final Fantasy IX. Like, we have the weapon shop out front of the castle. You know, it looks like it's still a work in progress. The little market stand? That is awesome looking. Look at that sign. Oh, that's that's for Babs. You get that at the oh, end Babs. of Act 2. Oh. Yeah, you cool. make a strip club for a bunny dancer. <laughs> <laughs> it's for, that's what it is, right? I'm not the exaggerating. Is, like, yeah, it's so funny. The, the game like, has uh, a lot of adult humor, so it, even if... I'm locked in! There you go. <laughs> the game has a lot of adult humor, so while it looks very childish and fun, uh, and it looks like it's made for kids. There's a lot of like sexual innuendos. Is that is that a word? In yeah, yeah, and, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of pervy stuff. So if you know, I mean, I think that's just Square Enix in general. They do that with everything that they do, right? And yeah, so sure. you'll you'll definitely get enjoyment from playing through the story, which is uh, great. Look at this. So yeah, something like this, he could build it and blueprint it, and then just place down a second one. So you don't have to like mm. do the same thing a thousand times, which I really like. I have not unlocked the blueprint selector yet, so when, maybe when we do that, we'll make a separate video showing like, hey, look at this, I can blueprint this and put it in Zell's game, and you know. Yeah. Um, there's also mechanical things like opening doors. I wonder if you can make like a drawbridge or something. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, there's these things called, uh, what is it, magnet blocks? Maca blocks? Mag magnet? Oh, magnets, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Push and pull things. Interesting. We'll find our own way in. <laughs> there we go. You can't stop me, Fat Rat. Oh, there's nothing in here. <laughs> I've been <laughs> duped. Uh, I wonder, is this castle actually interactable or not? Because how do you get up there? Doesn't make sense. They didn't think this through. 
It looks great, looks but it, nice. <laughs> it looks great, but it needs to be functional, in my opinion, to be awesome. Um, I don't have. You know what? I got an idea. We're gonna get our classic Ooh. sand blocks. And nerd ball it up. We're just gonna make our way up there. Good old trusty sand blocks. What the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> just Hargan. turned into a Hargan. Well. Uh... It's like a and there's a portal. Yeah, this is a two, right? And the story sort of continues from the first one as well. But you don't it need to have played the first one to understand no, what's happening. You don't. No, I, I've been not. completely enjoying the game, um, and I have no idea what Dragon Quest Pillars is. I've never honestly even played Dragon Quest. Uh, now I'm really wanting to try out Dragon Quest, the RPG. Yeah, they say it's really good. Good, really good reviews. <laughs> yeah, and it's got that Final Fantasy style combat. I mean, it's a Square Enix game mm -hmm. after all. So, yeah, so this creation kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> it's pretty on the outside, but I can't do anything with it. There's no rooms. There's nothing. It's beautiful. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm exaggerating. It? I mean, it doesn't suck at all. It looks no. beautiful, and it's it makes for amazing screenshots, but I'm the, I'm the type of builder that's like, oh, you know, I want people to live here. I want servants, and you can do all that in this game, so why wouldn't you? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Got a harem. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why not? <A> harem. <laughs> we should build the We bunny should. Island. Yeah, a harem yeah. with all those little bunny girls. Oh my god. And make it like so a dance funny. dance thing. Know, so. They they will yeah. get on stage and dance for you. Like you can straight up make a harem. Like it's it's doable. Those uh, minor guys with a Oh yeah, we can make a male strip club. One hundred percent. God. <laughs> it's so much fun. So th this is like his. Uh, this is what we wanted to check out in terms of like the thumbnail, what was advertised. But because we're What's on, there? yeah, because we're on their Isle of Awakening, we can kind of just have a little motor around and see what else they've kind of built here. What I'm really curious to know is how they've treated their NPCs. You know, they put them all in a prison. They make a harem. What did they do? Go to the, <laughs> go to the cow. To the cow. Mm, look on your map. No, on your mini map. Out there. Yeah, so the Green Gardens is the first place they start you off. So let's go see what they've done with the Green Gardens. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. So yeah, when you get here, they're like, oh, make some farmlands, you know, give these people homes. Uh, wow, you can dress them up? That's Lulu, right? Mm. That is Lulu. Yeah. And he's changed her <laughs> hair and Did given her a Christmas outfit. <laughs> That's cool. I was hoping you could outfit these. So yeah, this is their just like their farm plots that they uh, make for. Which are tidy. By the way. Oh, you, you can, can get cows and sheep. Oh my god, I'm so excited. See, so far yeah, I've just gotten the cow. chickens. Yeah, I have not seen the sheep or the cows. That's amazing. So there's like all these little pens and stuff. Oh yeah, there's the mounts. So like as I said, there's there's vehicles in this game, but you can also get mounts. Oh my god, it's a baby one. That is adorable. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. The sugar cane fields. I didn't even I didn't even know you can get mounts. Yeah, that's cool, eh? Mm. Yeah, this, this game is you have no idea, guys, if you're listening or watching this, like how big this game is. It's amazing. Like this you'll, game is I first huge. looked at the game, I was like, how can you expect me to pay eighty dollars for this game? That's like the that's a full price triple yeah, A game. Canadian. And I'm I'm Canadian. fifty hours in and I'm like I'm like twenty percent through the game. And yeah. that's that's not even like there's an end game in this game. Like there's an endless mode, and so you, you could wow. easily put 500 to a thousand hours into a game like this. Easily. So wow. it's you know for me like this feels like my Christmas gift to myself this year. You know I always <laughs> like playing a video game after Christmas and just binging out. But for the last few years there hasn't been a game that I'm like ah oh, this feels like my the Christmas spirit. You know. But this to me <laughs> is like like if I was yeah if anyone give this game to me for Christmas I would just lose my mind. You can have so many hours. Like a lot of people don't want to spend a lot of money on games um, or you know like they can only have a game every three months or four months so they want to make sure that that game is something that they're going to be playing for like months right and Start. this this is it this is the game that you're going to be playing for months let's let's feed ourselves here. but oh, look it runs all the way back to its den <laughs> what's up like when he first opened it up you were like oh i don't know yeah and then, <laughs> and then he just went ham when I first opened it up, I actually played it on the demo, and I had, like, buyer's guilt. 
Like I was like, why did I download this game? And I was like, wait, it's a demo. I didn't, I didn't pay anything. The first hour absolutely sucked. And then I played two hours in. I was like, okay, this is good. Three hours in, I'm like, I'm addicted. I love this game. Best game ever made. And now I'm like 50 hours in and I feel no different. I'm just like, I just want to play more. And now that I see like the sheep and the cows, I'm like, I got to do so much more with this. But this person hasn't really done a lot. I mean, uh, these bridges got me excited. I don't have these unlocked yet. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I was just yeah. watching The Witcher. The, the Netflix series, Witcher. Oh, I have and to watch it. Yeah. There's like these big, big, oh. big giant houses at the top of these like islands, and they're kind of like mm -hmm. just propped up. And I'm like, we got to make that in this game. And Man, I was already doing that. Why are you stealing my ideas? I, I, I'm drawing inspiration from other <laughs> things, and I'm like, I'm building oh. like, I'm building like cliff hanging. Like. Yeah, that's a great idea. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. I already <laughs> did it. <laughs> well, we'll have to visit that in the future. Visit oh. my creation that you stole. So there's Thanks. not a whole lot going in his farmland. Let's quickly pop by and see what he's done with the Scarlet Sands. That's the thing. Like, I'm like, where do I want to start building? I've unlocked two areas. See, I started doing the Oasis. It seems like he's done a little bit more here. Mm. Farm fields. But no houses or anything for the NPCs, no. eh? Let's just not Let's... mention the pyramids. The giant pyramid on the right. Yeah, that's part of the story. <laughs> it, it, they didn't build this block by block. So what's interesting <laughs> about this game is the uh, NPCs will build stuff if you ask them to. So you literally can plop down a blueprint like this, and they'll just build it. As long as you put the materials that they need to build it in a chest. So what is that? Coral? That, that's that airship that we saw earlier in the episode. If you blueprint that, you could just plop another one down, the NPCs will put it together. It's pretty amazing. Oh, this is the same blueprint that they build in Act 2. Oh, the silver pool. Uh, yeah, oh, the, the silver, silver bar. bar. Sorry. Yeah. And they, again, oh. they're all in Christmas outfits. They all look different, see? <laughs> it's a cross eye. Oh, that's amazing. So this person, this creator, it looks to be as if they didn't really get into, like, the sim aspect of, like, you know, building up their people. What they really wanted to do is build that castle, that Final Fantasy castle in that airship. That's where they spent That's all their fun. time. Which is fun, but it's not interactable. Oh my god, oh, it's this, the royal this. toilet. Look at all that poop. <laughs> that's I like hilarious. Like the golem face. Yeah, you, that's part of Act 2 as well. Hmm. That's the uh, stone golem. Yeah. That's amazing. Let's see what they did with their pyramid. Hey, Babs. She he turned her into a little server. She's got an apron on. God. She's no longer a dancer. She's serving people drinks. <laughs> she looks miserable. That's so sad. She wants to be a dancer. Yeah. She's serving. How dare you treat her that way? Ah. Uh, so it looks like uh, uh, another unfinished pyramid. All these rooms and stuff. I see. They also make you stuff. They'll cook food, they'll... I think they will even smell like iron and stuff, right? Yeah. Bars. If you set them up with a proper smithy. Oh, he does have a mm. dancing stage. Kind of awkward. Oh, yeah. It's very cozy. I just It's agree. one of those where you have to buy them like a bottle of champagne, you know, before you're allowed to get oh. in. Oh. Okay, that was cozy. I see what you're saying. Mm. Dude, what the heck is this? Um, what? Next? That is like a robot. So much <laughs> still we don't know about this game. No. Well, who is that? Man, what's the chick from Frozen? Right? He's got um, poppies and chickens. So the, what the heck? Oh, it's one of those vultures. Yeah. All right, so that's his Isle of Awakening, or uh, deserts. This is the place we have not unlocked it. You have to play through Act 3 to get here. Uh, but it is the snowy biome, and I'd love me a good snowy biome. Doesn't seem like yeah. he's got a lot going on over here either. Oh, what's that? Is what? that a Yeti? Oh my god, we gotta make Yeti land. For the Planet yeah. Custer fans, we have to make Yeti Land. Oh my god, Look at these Yeti. big fat Yetis. I have to make Yeti Land. Just like caves full of Yetis and like castles for Yetis. That's amazing. These are interesting pieces. Yeah. You can get boulder clusters. Oh, in Act 2 you get something like a rock cluster as well. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah, so not a whole lot going on in this build. Uh, I visited a couple just to see what the... Uh, the sharing system was like. Me and Sigurds went to one and they had like everything, like, you know, fully finished houses with all the people living their lives and, you know, castles. And so maybe not the best creation for the first episode, but it's something. I think if you're a Final Fantasy fan, uh, we, you know, that castle, that airship, um, and that boat are pretty darn remarkable. I mean, they oh, built, look down there. They built that block by block. What is all this? 
<laughs> so yeah, there are gizmos and gadgets. Uh, you can set up traps and trinkets, and I do think the game you get attacked in it, so maybe they spawn here. Oil? Hmm. Okay, there's so much stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, <laughs> the waterfall. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I hope for maybe the next creation we see somebody's actually, you know, fulfilled all the needs of the people. Because you can get so many people in this game, right? And mm -hmm. to see them all, like, working their jobs, living in their houses, it's it's quite remarkable. So, but then there's just these, like, monuments that people are building that are also really awesome spectacles. Definitely cool. Got a Final Fantasy one here today. This was actually the number one rated like island in terms of like screenshot appeal people saw the screenshot and they voted it up um mm. i don't think the people out that voted actually visited it you know because yeah. i've already i can already tell you i've seen creations that are way crazier this in in terms of like functionality complexity um simulation. yeah simulation but i do think that is one gnarly looking airship there yeah. and castle so very cool stuff in this one here today uh what do you guys think leave your comments down below and uh we'll definitely be doing more of these because there's so many creations to check out and i think it's just fun to find out these things you know in this episode yeah. alone how many new things did we just discover that we didn't know about the game yeah, so many yeah so definitely stay tuned for more of this you guys if you uh, subscribe to the channel we're going to be doing some more dragon quest builders i have a let's play on the channel i'll probably put a link down in the description below if you want to actually see what the game's about i definitely think it's worth a purchase and it has so much replayability so we also have a discord check that out down below as well uh any final thoughts Zell? no I just love this game. Mm -hmm. I definitely love it. Yeah. If you, I think if you like Minecraft and building and Planet Coaster and all that stuff, you can do so many crazy things with this. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye now.